So what is it you're growing? Parsnips. And you've got a special way of doing it. So you use topsoil yep. and sand mixed together. Yep. Because the soil is so stony that they won't grow properly. They'll be all misshapen. But so you can see some of this soil. It's very stony and then it causes the um, causes them to fork out yeah. otherwise. Yeah. So this is how to get round it. Yeah, but it's a lot of work, a lot of messing about, but it's worth it. And I can vouch for that. A few years ago, the size of them were absolutely massive. It does take time, but the end result is worth it. What type of sand have you got? You just build with sand. Just normal everyday sand? No. Yeah, that's all I use. There's no stones in it. And just topsoil from any garden centre? Yep. I'm just mixing it properly, yeah. You can see it's kind of a sandy sort of brownie colour when it's finally looks by the looks of it. Yep. That's that. So what is this going in? Vermiculite. And this is an experiment, is it this year, you said? Yes. To see if it actually uh, starts supposed to do something. What does it do? Hold more water? Or? It holds the moisture. And I think it might give it some nutrients. Well, my cabbages are absolutely perfect this year. And that's because of this stuff. That's because I use this. It's very expensive. About eight quid for ten kilos, but it's very light. You can get it cheaper on eBay. Four quid for the same amount, <laughs> which I shall do when I run out. So you've marked out your line. Yep. And why are you watering it first? Just so that the soil actually um, sticks to the sides after I've made a hole. So you make a hole first and then you put the mixture in. Yeah. So watering it helps it make the hole stable? Yeah. Okay. What I want to do is get in the stick, marking the centre. When I mean, I've done it, four inches apart. You have to do them singly, otherwise it destroys the other hole. Okay, so we've got three rows all prepped up. Yep. And as you can see, little markers in the middle of the holes. And this is what we're trying to deal with, quite stony soil. So any root crops will split. But this seems to work, so I know she's just gonna put some seeds in. A little dip, about three or four in each one. And just 
go down the line and fill them all up with three or four little seeds. The seeds look right. Let's have a look. Just look like that. And we'll keep you updated how they grow. Oh, I'm just going to put a bit of the a little bit of topping on top of them. We'll keep you posted.